This is me at 16. My diet consisted of Doritos and Mountain Dew. I wasn't able to climb a four foot fence. And the closest interaction I had with women were the pictures of Makima that I would jack off to. Fast forward three years later, this is how I look at 19. Yeah, my physique is a bit better. I eat a lot more healthier now. And my interaction with women are still the pictures of Makima that I jack off to. Anime is a beautiful medium. Not only because we can insert ourselves into these vast, lively, and beautiful world. Okay, maybe not that world. But it can also motivate us to work towards a goal we have, or to embark on a new passion. In the real world where so many messed up things are happening right now, having that childlike, almost naive, obsessive nature over things we want to achieve gives us a sense of direction, happiness, and I would say a feeling of reassurance in a world where people are just trying to make it, just like a shonen anime character. Whether it's to become the Hokage, to become the Pirate King, or to build up the courage to confess to the girl you paid $300 to pretend to be your girlfriend, this naive and childlike thinking of believing you can do and achieve anything you put your mind to is what I imply into my gym progress in this YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about how anime helped me transform my physique and help other people transform theirs as well or to give you motivation to follow your passion. Now we need to go back all the way to 2019 when I came across Naruto for the very first time. At this point, I was 14 years old and the only exercise I did were the kettlebell gym class workouts. It was the summer of 2019 and when I watched this anime for the first time, it changed everything for me. I became obsessed with the story and characters and managed to finish all 720 episodes in a matter of two months before school started up again that year. Yes, I didn't skip the fillers because I didn't know what the fuck it meant back then. I fell in love with Naruto. I only watched Naruto YouTube and would start power scaling the characters. I would get into random debates in the Instagram comment sections and argue with random people I never even met before. <laughs> Bro, those were the days. In fact, I loved the show so much that right after I finished it, I immediately started rewatching the show again to try and fill that empty void you get when you get attached to a piece of media. However, out of all the characters in Naruto, there was one character that stood out from the rest. There was one character that Masashi Kishimoto wrote that almost felt like he knew who I was and was writing the character for me. That character was Rock Lee. Rock Lee was the first character I've come across that has sparked something inside of me. Seeing him train and trying to become a ninja despite having no chakra really moved me. Now I didn't have a shonen protagonist moment and yelled, I want to show I can be as fun a ninja as well, even if I do not have ninjutsu or genjutsu. I want to prove it to the whole world! And started hitting gym for 6 months and ended up looking like Arnold. I wish it ended up like that. But it did give me just a little bit of motivation to push myself just a little bit more during gym class that year. When we would do laps around the school, I would think of Rock Lee and it would give me just the slightest tiniest bit of motivation to push myself just a little harder. Now a few months later, that virus hit and I got pretty fucking fat. I probably ate the most amount of junk food I've ever eaten during COVID and did the least amount of activity. Fucking Warzone came out that year. You know I was grinding that shit. I really didn't like the way I looked and felt super horrible. But up until then, I fell in love with anime and started watching a whole lot of it. Okay, maybe a little too much. During quarantine, I watched Black Clover and the main character Asta moved me the same way Rock Lee did. He had no magic, but despite that, he trained every single day to try and become the Wizard King. Wait, that sounds pretty familiar. Again, this sparked something in me and motivated me to get a bit into shape. And this is the part where I yell. Now you better listen up, cause I wasn't done talking! I'm gonna get results like no one has before! I'll do whatever it takes to become the Wizard King! And prove you wrong! And trained for six months and ended up looking like Arnold. Is again, what I wish would happened. What really happened was I set up the greatest workout plan in history. Five push-ups in a one minute plan before every game of Warzone. I would end up playing for like 7 hours and only did it like 4 times. Even though I couldn't go to a gym because of lockdown, I made it a routine to incorporate some sort of workout in my daily life. Now fast forward 2 years later and this is when I started to take the gym seriously. Now for those 2 years, the only workout I did were push ups and I was still eating like the stereotypical gamer. Now I did lose weight because I wasn't eating as much and we were out of lockdown so I wasn't grinding warzone for fucking 8 hours a day. But I was skinny fat and I started to look up to fitness influencers and bodybuilders from the golden era like Arnold and Franco. I thought their superhero-esque physiques looked absolutely beautiful and stunning, as if someone carved out their bodies out of stone. 
Now there was a weight room in my school and every day during gym class I would go there and work out. Now I didn't know what the fuck I was doing but as a gaining lifter you can literally jerk off in between sets and still build a good amount of muscle. This is because your body is hit with new stimuli and is most responsive and adapts to that stimuli more as a beginner. This is what we call newbie gains. This is also around the time I watched Hajime no Ippo for the first time and the main character Ippo really motivated me. Now the common thing between Rock Lee, Asta and Ippo is that they have incredible physiques, train hard. And more importantly than that, they're all obsessed over what they're passionate about and have zero doubt in their mind that they will fail and don't let anybody sway their way of thinking. Rock Lee wanted to prove to the world that he can be a splendid ninja, even without ninjutsu and genjutsu. And the only thing that stopped him was the criminal amount of screen time he got in the second half of Naruto. Asta wants to prove to the world that even a commoner like him, who has no magic, can climb the ranks and become the wizard. Oh my god, they aren't the same goddamn- And Ippo, who wants to be a boxer to help out his family and beat his rival Miyata in a fight. But unfortunately, it seems like we're not going to be seeing that in our lifetimes. And it's here that I can finally say that I screamed at the top of my lungs and said, I don't care if I do get stuck at the getting for the rest of my life! I'll still be Hokage someday! And trained for six months and ended up looking like Arnold at the end of it. If you replace 6 months with 2 years and Arnold with Hey Arnold. So basically I'm just a cringe we I fell in love with lifting and the progress I was making was addicting. It got to a point where not going to the gym was harder than trying to skip the gym. Now I'm not the most jacked person on earth and nor am I the most knowledgeable person when it comes to bodybuilding. But if I can motivate you to start going gym or to follow a passion that you like, that will make me happy. Now in this video, I will lay out a simple blueprint on training to hopefully get you started with the gym. Or if you're already hitting the weights, there's maybe a few things you can learn from this video. Like to start small with your training like how I did. Or to not jack off to pictures of mock- How to transform your physique. Now there's a lot of information on the internet on how to get jacked. But I think the one thing that pushes people away from fitness is the fact that there's a lot of information on the internet on how to get jacked. Let me explain. On YouTube, there's so much information on how to get jacked and build a good physique that you get bombarded with tons and tons of information. What's the best lat exercise? What's the best chest exercise? Do I take creatine? Is protein powder worth it? Do I bulk? Do I cut? Should I take methods pre-workout? There's so much information on the internet that it turns people away from going to the gym because they feel like there's too much to learn and get exhausted with information. Even though there's recorded proof from hundreds and even thousands of years ago that simplicity is key. Now before we get into training programs, you need to pick what form of training you want to do. There's calisthenics, which is using your body weight as resistance, and weight training, where you use equipment like the barbell and the dumbbells to train. You can get jacked doing either one, but if you're just starting out, I would recommend doing weight training or combining the two, just because you probably can't move your body weight that well yet, and it'll be easier to progress using weights. But if you want to do strictly calisthenics or weight training, that's totally fine too. If you're a complete beginner to training, I would say just follow one of these routines as they're super solid and will build you a lot of muscle. And after a while, as you get more knowledgeable about the gym, you can create your own one that you like. Now the main roadblock that people encounter when first starting with the gym is gym anxiety. This is where you feel anxious to go to the gym because you're afraid that there's going to be people there that judge you. And if you're the average anime fan like me, Chances are, you are going to be judged. A really important thing to keep in mind is that genuinely nobody cares and nobody's looking at you because everyone's focused on their own workout. If you have trouble with something or you don't know how to use a machine, 9 out of 10 times there's going to be someone willing to help you out. In my own personal experience, I've met some of the nicest and kindest people at the gym and it's the very last place that would make you feel anxious and afraid. And for the anime fans, I wore my weeby anime shirts to the gym and I've gotten many compliments and bonded over anime we like just because I decided to wear my One Piece shirt that day. So whether you like anime or there's a band or musician you like, don't be afraid to express yourself because you don't know what type of interaction you'll have that day. By the way, if you're a K-pop fan, forget everything I just said right now. The first few months of lifting are going to be some of the most fun you ever have lifting because you're going to be making progress week by week. Throw on some anime openings, lift the weights, and you're going to be making progress in no time. Another important thing you need to have on your mind is progressive overload. Progressive overload is when you're lifting heavier or increasing the volume of your training on a weekly basis. For example, if you dumbbell press 20 pounds for 8 reps one week, the next time you train chest you try to go for 9 reps, or you try to do 25 pounds for 8 reps. Whether you're progressively overloading or not is going to determine how much progress you're making in the gym. In other words, it's super fucking important. Now if you're a beginner lifter, like I said earlier, you can literally suck off your spotter while bench pressing and still build a good amount of muscle. This is because your body adapts quickly to new stimuli and after about 2-3 to three years of lifting, considering you did everything right, 
is when your body is going to build the most amount of muscle as a natural lifter. It's not that you're not going to build any muscle after that. It's just going to be a much slower process because your body has gotten used to that stimuli. Now this is where what I said earlier comes into play. Simplicity is key. This is because realistically, it doesn't really matter what type of exercise you do. Because as long as you're progressively overloading and getting stronger, you're going to be building muscle. For example, you have the bench press and the dumbbell bench press. You enjoy the dumbbell bench press more than the bench press. So instead of worrying and obsessing over which exercise is more optimal, you do the exercise you enjoy more and progressively overload on that exercise. Because at the end of the day, progressive overload and training intensity is what matters the most if you want to look like Toji from Jujutsu Kaisen. Pick around two exercises per body part and do about three sets to failure. And try to progressively overload with more reps or with more weight each week. Now training intensity is just as important because if you're not training hard enough, your progress is going to drag longer than Kazuya's character development. Now when I say training intensity, I don't mean going to the gym 7 days a week for 8 hours a day. What I mean is that the 3 sets that you're doing for that exercise, you take it close to or all the way until you physically can't lift it anymore and rest for 3-5 to five minutes. Now obviously, there's certain exercises that you don't want to go all the way to failure on unless you want to meet Jesus, so always use the safety bands or a spotter. Some of you guys might be asking, well if intensity is so important, why don't I just do like 5 exercises for one body part? The reason this is detrimental is because think of exercising as cutting yourself. Okay, that's a really bad example. Say you cut yourself once. <laughs> I can't do that. Say your body got cut three times in the same spot. There's probably going to be a cut there, but over time, the wound is going to heal and get stronger. Now say you got cut ten times in the same spot. Now the wound is going to take much longer to heal, and it's the same with weightlifting. You're not building muscle in the gym, but you're slightly tearing them apart so they can repair and become stronger. And if you're overtraining your muscle, you're over tearing it and it's not going to heal back stronger. Which leads me to my next point on recovery. You see, recovery is just as important as intensity because you can train as hard as you want to, but if you don't recover, then you're not going to build muscle. Now when I say recovery, I don't just mean sitting on your gaming chair and watching anime and playing games. I mean, it is that. And also dialing in your nutrition and sleep. There's a reason why people say sleep is the best drug for muscle growth. Because it literally is. The reason why people say this is because most of your muscle growth actually happens while you're sleeping. This is because growth hormone pulses the most while you're sleeping, causing you to build the most muscle during that time period. Now you're probably typing in the comments right now, something like... No, just go to sleep and get the gains bro, cause I totally don't stay up past 12 to watch hen- By now, you have probably chosen one of the programs I have listed and know pretty much the basics about training. Now it's time to talk about a gamer's worst nightmare. Nutrition. So basically, to sum up nutrition, Snort G feel like a real gamer. 